Hey everybody, we're going to be doing some pointillism art today. Uh, it's a very old process of art and it's the use of tiny little dots to make a picture. Now the pointillism movement became famous in France in the mid to late 1800s, but it can be traced back a lot farther than that. I have with me some artifacts from Australia, and these are tools that were used by the indigenous there. So what I have here is the boomerang, as you may recognize, but if you look carefully at the boomerang, there's dots in the artwork here that the indigenous had done. Another item I have is a didgeridoo. It is an instrument and it too has lots and lots of dot work on it. So those are really the beginning of pointillism. These were done thousands and thousands of years ago. So then pointillism became famous in France in about the 1800s and there was lots of famous work from there. So this one here is probably one of the more common pictures. When you look at it, it looks just like a regular picture, but if you look really closely, you can see that the picture is actually all dots. Here is another one here. And if you look carefully in the sky, it's all dots. So the dots, they're very close together, but they're not too close that they're ruining the picture. Here's a couple of more pieces of art. Another famous one done in the late 1800s of the Eiffel Tower. So today I'm going to be doing my own pointillism art piece. I'm just going to do some simple flowers. It may be a nice gift to give uh, to somebody later on. So instead of using regu a regular paintbrush, I'm going to be using paint and Q-tips, and this is gonna let me get those dots. I need to be very careful where I place the Q-tip and very careful with how much paint is on the Q-tip so that it doesn't smudge. You could also use markers, crayons, pencil crayons, and just make a series of small dots instead of strokes that we normally make when we're coloring. One mistake that I've made is I've made my pencils too dark. If you can, try to make sure that your pencil is really, really light and then the pencil won't come through the picture. Sometimes when you're using the Q-tips, the cotton on the edge gets a little bit soggy. Just use a tissue. So you may notice I haven't, I am not doing any strokes. Although my dots are fairly close together, I'm making sure that I am doing it in a dotting pattern. I am not dragging the Q-tip at all. If you wanted to use a back of a brush, of a paintbrush, that could work too, as long as you cleaned it off in between each, each one. Both Q-tips and this paint can easily be purchased at a dollar store. When the paint starts to really clump on the cotton, you'll notice that I just dabbed it off and rolled it onto the newspaper. 
And then I make sure that the bottom part is dry again. You don't want to have any of the loose cotton because that will cause it to drag. So this is my pointillism flower. Now you don't have to do a flower. You can do any picture you like. Art is a really great way to relax and to relieve some stress and some tension, especially during uh, this time of uncertainty. Uh, it also would make a really nice uh, picture if you wanted to give it to a uh, a woman in your life that you look up to on Sunday. So hope you enjoy your art. Take some time to relax and I will see you soon.